Hey guys, uh, today I'd like to share with you how I keep my curls looking great on day two um, because I get a ton of questions about this. So if you're wondering why my hair is up all kinds of crazy, um, it's because this is how I like to sleep with my hair. Um, if I were to leave my hair down or just in a regular ponytail, as I slept throughout the night, I would be rolling around on my hair and it would be all rubbing on my pillow. And with my hair, the more I touch it and move it, the bigger it seems to get. It has like this, like it grows. <laughs> so, um, and it grows out, not down. So that kind of sucks. But anyways, so, um... I like to put it in a really high ponytail, and some people call this a pineapple. I like to put it off to this side of my head, to the right side, because I sleep on my left side, so I have less of a chance of rubbing my my hair while I'm sleeping. I only have to worry about this part right here, and if I'm really worried about it, I'll put a scarf over this whole business. So yeah, um, there's also a few things that I do before I put it up. And the first thing is to spritz it with my leave-in conditioner spray. This is really easy. It's just water and leave-in conditioner. And so I've thinned down a regular leave-in conditioner. Um, sometimes I'll use about a tablespoon of my baby buttercream instead of conditioner just so I can get like a little bit of hold and it smells really good. And I use that mostly in the summertime because it's really good against frizz. So let me take this atrocity out of my hair. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, you guys are special because I don't let many people see my hair up like that. All right, so let's pretend I didn't already have that going on. Okay, so normally I have like this side of my hair pulled back and I'll either pull this side up or whatever so what I would do is at the end of the day I would take like my clips out which I usually use um, these tiny little clips um, so I would take my clips out and then I take my little leave-in stuff and I give it a nice light spritz And then I kind of scrunch it and squeeze it in. I don't really try to like rake my hands through my hair, but I'll put them in there and just kind of squeeze. Because um, again, the more I touch it, the bigger it's going to get, and I don't want that. <laughs> okay, so now what I do is take a little bit of my Eco Styler gel. I haven't done a review for this, but perhaps I should because I am loving it. So I've got my like grape size dollop and I'm rubbing it between my fingers, not all over my palms. And then I'm just kind of doing this. And then I'm just going to take my fingers and kind of work it into the ends. Um, I'm concentrating on the ends with the gel because the ends are going to be more exposed than the rest of my hair while I'm sleeping. So I want them to maintain and have a little bit extra hold. So then I'll take a little bit more of my spray and I'll just spray the ends. Give it a quick scrunch. Give it a quick scrunch. And I'm being pretty gentle, not, you know, putting my hair through hell. <laughs> okay. So, leave-in conditioner, scrunch in some gel, finish with leave-in conditioner on the end. So, this part of the hair, all I did was get some leave-in conditioner spray on it. The ends have extra gel. So, then I take this. This is a really long piece of cotton fabric that I had left over from a quilt project, which is if I'm not geeky and nerdy or whatever enough. Um, my... Uh, Quilt, my American Patchwork and Quilting Magazine came today. Last week's, or last week's, last month's edition was awesome. So if you guys like quilting, that's a really good magazine. Okay, so it's about five inch wide strip of fabric. You can use a scarf. You can cut a section out of a t-shirt and then cut it in half and make a long 
thing. So what you're going to do is your your ultimate goal is you're going to tie this like this, okay? And you want to pull the ends so that the the it's a diameter or a circumference. Well, I guess technically they're both going to get smaller. So you're pulling on these until it gets smaller and smaller, pulling your hair into a ponytail. But if you if you do it right, you can get the ponytail to rest high on your head, and that's the goal. If you have to flip your head over, flip your head over. It's not that big of a deal. Sometimes I flip my head over because it's easier to make sure it stays high. But if you move your head back and forth, it seems weird. It'll work it, and then you just pull... And there you go. High ponytail. It looks super, super crazy. <laughs> so, then you're going to take all of your hair and bring it to the front. If you can. Sometimes it's kind of. It doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, so bring in your hair forward so that the ties are behind your hair. Okay. You're gonna pick up you're gonna pick your hair up at about the middle. So however long this is, you're gonna pick it up halfway. And then bring it up. So you've got like a big puff here, and you're gonna cross the fabric in front. Okay, and you're gonna go behind and to the front again and tie your bow. Maybe. <laughs> if I can get it to cooperate. Now, if your hair wasn't as long as mine, this actually might make a really cool updo. I don't think I would, uh, I personally don't think I would wear this out and about. And then I just swing the ends of my hair over here to the side. Okay, so... Uh, I didn't leave it all hanging. Um, I could have just left it on top of my head and it been a really high, ridiculous ponytail. Um, but the reason I pull the middle of my hair up and then just secure the ends is um, if it's really long, I'm going to sleep all over it. And if it's controlled into this little piece right here, okay, I sleep on this side of my head, so all of my hair is going to stay over here. And you can tell um, from this hair here that, um, again, I, I coated my ends with the gel and the spray more so than the rest of my hair, so that hopefully it can maintain while I'm sleeping. So in the morning, I'll just take it down, spray it with this to get rid of any frizz, and put my clips in and I've got second day hair so third day hair is a little harder usually th day three I rock a braid or a ponytail of some sort or some sort of updo um, because day three it's just wrecked <laughs> and then day four I'll have to wash it again but I'm all out of time so uh, I want to know in the comments below how you preserve your curls for day two and three and um, if you can get four days out of your hair, I want to know how, <laughs> because I can't. I would love to get four days out of my hair, but I just can't. My hair doesn't look good for more than like two days. Day two, tomorrow it'll look all right, but day three, hmm, it's up to because it's not going to look good at all. <laughs> so, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.